Welcome back once again to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. If you follow Jack's Tech Corner on YouTube and on Viddler, you know that I'm the Photoshop Elements guy. I guess uh, people's been uh, commenting on uh, my comments and, and telling me that. But I'm just a guy that kind of likes to take pictures and I like to uh, do some editing. What I wanted to teach you um, on this particular video of Photoshop Elements is how to work with green screen. Um, before I do that, let me tell you to jump over to my website, jackstechcorner.com. Two great reasons to go there. Uh, the first, there is a DVD that I'm selling. $15, you get 45 high resolution videos of Photoshop Elements. You can pause them and stop them. You know, people minimize them and then they play a little bit with Elements uh, and follow along with the tutorial. Works really, really well. If you have two monitors, it's even better. You can watch the video on one and use the other monitor to do your editing on. It works really great. There's a second reason there. I happen to pick up a sponsor for the show. His name is Ken and he is the um, programmer for a great program called Green Screen Wizard. Green Screen Wizard, what it allows you to do is what we call keying. Because as you can see on this picture, I have a chroma key background. It's a natural green screen. They also make a blue screen that you can use for keying out or taking out the background. Why do we want to do that? Simply to replace it with pictures from around the world or you want to put picture people in different settings. I took this in my studio and it gives me a chance to put them anywhere in the world that I want to put them. Now, I want to show you first of all, we're going to start with the hard way, the way I was doing green screen removal uh, until I met Ken. The first way I was doing it was Duplicating this background, doing a Control J. Uh, let's put this on there. Doing a Control J, and then people say, "Jack, why do you duplicate the background?" The reason is, if you look here, this layer is locked. If you're on this layer and you're in your eraser tool, you can't do anything because it's locked. But if you look, you can see that it's taking some stuff away from there. But it's not erasing the underlying to the you know to get to the uh, underlying um, backdrop or nothing. What we call the uh, transparency. This well, this is what we're trying to get to, but it can't get there. So let's undo that eraser tool. But if we're on this layer, you can double click this and turn it into a normal layer. But we're just going to duplicate the layer, and now we can erase. And I'm going to shut this layer off so you can see what's going on. Now you can, if you have a green screen, simply erase along here, right? We can take out all the backdrop. And if you're really, really good, if you lower your brush size down, you can go around their heads. You know, you can clean this up pretty well. It takes a while. It was taking me, uh, you know, probably about uh, uh, maybe 10 minutes per picture because once you get so close, you're going to say, wow, that looks really good what's going to happen is you're going to blow this up to see if it's really good and you're going to start to notice that there is green so around his ears so you have to start working on that you have to figure this part out here so that's why it was taking me quite a while get back to fit the screen so there is a way you can do it without buying Ken's product and I'm sure Ken would tell you also this is a way you can do this because I'm sure Ken probably will start out this way um, but now with the green screen, green, screen, green screen wizard you don't have to do that any longer let's go ahead and get rid of this let's go ahead and open up one of our backdrops and put them in somewhere in the world I thought we would put them in Hawaii Let's open this up in full editor. Okay, pull this one over here. Now we're going to do is fit this to screen. All right. Now our couple here. What we're going to do is always pull your green screen on top of your background. Don't pull your background on top of your green screen. That doesn't work out really well. So remember, backdrop or green screen on to scene on the backdrop. 
Let's go ahead and select all. We're going to move this over to here. We can minimize this now because we have this up. Now, using Ken's program, let's see if it takes us 10 minutes. We go to Filter, Green Screen Wizard. Now, this plugin works in both Photoshop, uh, I'm sure it works in Photoshop CS3. I also have it loaded in Photoshop CS4, works great, as well as Photoshop Elements. Now, I haven't talked to Ken yet on the phone, but this program, as far as I can see, it's only Windows based. Uh, it's all executables to do the install and everything. So I'm not sure if you can use it on the Mac yet, but bear with me. This is my first uh, demo to show you. But uh, so far it's a Windows only program. Let's go to three layer system, green screen wizard. And here you go. There's our couple. Now, you can remove where it's more green. You can see where it's a little bit green over there. Okay, it looks pretty good. Once you think it looks good, then just hit the OK button. And this is going to go ahead and process this uh, picture. And what it's doing is keying out. It's doing all that erasing stuff that we were trying to do earlier. And there you go. Was that any faster? Absolutely. It already combined the two. Then all you do is go to File and you would just go save as and save it out as a JPEG just save it as a JPEG file alright that's one way to do keying you can put them backgrounds together just like that fast as can be this is a great program that's why I've, uh, I've written Ken uh, and we've communicated back and forth on emails and I knew I wanted to get him for a sponsor for the show and he was gracious enough to sponsor the show so um, that's why I'm showing you this and I think it's a wonderful wonderful program now I haven't gotten excited about uh, plugins or add-ons for Photoshop for a while but this this is definitely one to get excited about now what I was curious about you know I like to do a lot of things with the people uh, in the picture I was kinda worried that it wouldn't work out too well for me because this is okay but once you do this if you try to lighten this up let's go down here to levels what it's going to do is, when we raise this level, if you watch, the background gets raised too. Look at the clouds raising. Okay, the background gets raised too. So let's go ahead and dump this, and we're going to dump this one out. Let's bring these guys back up. Now what we're going to do with the program is we're going to select all this one again. Move it back on just like you did last time. Minimize this again move this back on here Just get it in there a little better okay now let's go ahead and do those steps again but this time we're gonna make one difference filter green screen wizard three layer system now this time if you look down here there's a little button there that says output transparency information that way it's not combining the background with it let's do that Take that little bit of green on the side there off. You've seen a little green here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and paste this again. This time it's transparency background. I watch. Again, it's going to process this down. And the tighter your green screen is, my green screen is not tight enough right now. I need to do a little work with it. I just started shooting green screen and started working with keying. Uh, it has, the tighter it is and the less shadows you have, the better any of these programs will work for you. Okay, and with that selected, we can still move this around a little bit. We can try to move it around back and forth a little bit. All right. Now, yeah, let's move it down a little bit there. We got some green showing there. And if you got some green showing, like you see, I got some green on the side, run the program again. Here, let's move it up a little bit. Let's have some green showing on there. Filter. It'll key that out again. Hit this and let it reprocess it.
Let's see if we can get rid of that. Yeah, we did. You've seen it just disappeared. Now, what I like about this is if we do levels, all right, click OK, do a Control G, that will link that level in this bottom level. Now, if you right click it, watch the clouds. Are. The clouds are not getting any brighter, just our people are. That way, we can give them a little bit more light. They make them look like they're uh, more in the scene, more sunlight coming on them. Brighten them up a little bit so we don't overexpose them. And then click OK. And there you have it. That works really, really well. And you know what's funny is. Like I said before, trying to get around their hair and their ears and everything. Let's look at this here closely. Let's do it again. Let's zoom up again and take a look. Look at this. I mean, it got right over the hair, right over the hair and the ears. Now, here is one thing that I have found um, with any green screen, especially if you have shadows, you get something called what is known as a spill. Now, I've read a lot of stuff on the internet about this uh, green screen and everything. But what spill is, sometimes on a white shirt like this, you'll get some green coming over it. And I don't have any here. It worked out uh, very well. But it's just right on the tinge. And that's just the difference between a green screen reflecting some of the light and it gets on the subject. Now, here's a great way to do this. We're going to go to... Uh, actually, we're going to take this sleeve. We're going to raise it up. And there really is none on there to really show you, but I'm going to teach you how you would do it anyway. If you get green spill coming over the sleeves, click on the transparency layer, and then lock the transparencies. Right here, you can lock it. Then, grab your foreground color, and click on the shirt itself. That way you're going to make that color that you're choosing the shirt by using the eyedropper. Then, just grab a brush, you can make that brush any size, and you would just go right over the edge of that shirt. That's probably too big. Take it down a little bit. And let's get a better color on it here. Then our brush size is way too big. Let's drop that down. And you can just go right over the edge of the shirt. You would just get right over the edge of that shirt. What's going to happen is that will blend that green right out and it will match the shirt when you're done. You can really tell a lot better if I had some of the green spill on there, which I don't. But that's how you would do it. Then if you go to view, fit the screen, that, that, and the, uh, the green spill would be gone. So that's how you get rid of that. Turn your background back on. Let's uh, we'll undo the brush tool. All right, and it didn't needle on this one, so you really couldn't tell. If that was a little bit green tinged on there, it would cover it right up. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed uh, this show, and like I said, it's how to key out and get stuff off the green screen. Um, I'm gonna actually bring this up here real quick for you. Yeah, as you can see, my web browser is not in the video ordinarily and this is the program right here folks green screen wizard uh, written by Ken uh, very very uh, nice guy very easy to uh, communicate with anyway on email he also has a standalone program um, which he has his videos already on here with the standalone program so I would recommend you go over to his um, his website, Green Screen Wizard, and you can actually um, look at the program. He has a demo here of the plugin I just demonstrated. Go ahead and download it. Shoot some green screen and some blue screen, and see what you think. Um, I'm sure it'll be well worth your time. And also to find it on my page, you just get right here, Green Screen Wizard. There's a link for it there also to take you back to his site. So I think we have uh, everything covered there for the green screen wizard. I hope you uh, check it out. And by all means, download the trial version. Once you use it a couple of times, you're going to be hooked. Um, until next time, 
Have a, uh, a great day. I hope your new year started out uh, fantastic. And I'll see you back here very soon. If you have any questions about green screen or chroma key, email me and or put comments on this video and I'm sure I can answer them and help you out there as much as I can. I'll tell you where I purchase my green screens at and uh, you know very low price and expensive things to have in your uh, little studio. Take care I'll see you back here very soon and bye for now.